Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is that you will see this. This is your girl Pinky, and I'm back to do a get ready with me as I let you see what's in my new London Fog bag. Okay, uh, this is your first time here on this channel? Hold on a second. If this is your first time here on this channel, boo, we so glad that you are here. We invite you to give a thumbs up, leave a comment below, uh, share the video with somebody you know, because uh, we are 62 and growing old gracefully over here. Empty nest, I'm filled back up with a toddler. Um, yeah, so keeping a girl young. That 62 is 26. Okay, uh, so if you have not become part of the family over here, it's aunt, uncle, sister, brother, aunt, niece, the, you know, part of the family, you know, kin folk family um even we set enemies over here we love the enemies uh go ahead on and hit that button and then ring that bell so you will be notified the next time we upload a video over here on this channel because on this channel we talk about a little bit of everything let's um give our scripture get this face together although it's already together i just want to you know when my mom passed she left something behind for me she uh she didn't tell me she was leaving it is this stuff right here she left that for me. I'm like, you could have left me a dollar, five dollars, something. Like, this wrinkles. But uh, we're going to make them things disappear in a minute, okay? So let's do our scripture. Get ready. And then get that bag, okay? It's a London, a London Fog backpack. Uh, scripture today is, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. That's 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Uh, when I... First got sick some 30 years ago. I used to ask God, why take this away? And he kept saying over and over. And over. it ain't that he can heal. He just kept saying, my grace is sufficient. So that grace is amazing. His, his grace, the best you can say, the best words you can find for the grace of God is that it's amazing. You can't understand it. You can't explain it. You can't fathom it. You just know that it's amazing that his grace will get you through a situation. Okay. So what we want to do now, the face has already been cleaned. Um, I'm still on the collagen hunt from Dollar Tree before they go up on their prices. Giant 99 before they actually close. I think uh, most everything in Giant 99 is pretty much gone that I would need as far as my collagen cleaners. Um, like this one right here, it's a Essential Ageless. And most of the stuff that I've gotten out of Dollar Tree is through the company Essentially Ageless. Ain't I ageless? Yeah! Yes, girl, I'm ageless. Uh, but this is Collagen Gentle Cream Cleanser. And I also have the um, moisture, I can't see it, the moisture thing stuff. It's a cream to go with it. So I got the cleanser and the cream. Then I have some, so many other ones, but this one right here is the one that I'm currently using right now. Uh, so I've already cleaned my face, put the moisturizer on. Next, I have this AOA, which I got from um, Miss A. It's a flawless matte setting spray. So what you do is, and I always do this, wait till the end to do this, but you're supposed to do it first. Uh, that's when you're aging and you don't read the instructions. So you uh, put the matte on, the spray on, and let it set. So that when your makeup set, you will look what? Ageless. And then I have Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer. I think that's what that says. One of you young folks tell me if you can see it. It's this little pink stuff, but you're supposed to put this on and not touch your face for 30 seconds. So, she hear me here talking. So, we're going to go see what's going on with her, and we'll be right back. By then, she this 30 second will be over. Hold on, be right back. Okay, had to take care of little miss. Uh, so, next, I will put on my eye cream to help with these bags. It has collagen and peptides in it. Again, from um, Dollar Tree. Okay. Just a little dot. Because this is the softest uh, skin on your entire body. The most delicate. And uh, they say use your weakest uh, ring, which is this one right here. At least that's what they told us in Mary Kay. You know, I rub it in. I did that. Then I have my concealer, again, from Essentially Ageless from the Dollar Tree. And I just 
do a couple dabs and hope I don't dab my eye. And rub that in. Okay. Then I'll put on my foundation, which is Ardell Photo Face Matte Finish. You guessed it, Dollar Tree. Some people use all these fancy brushes. I have the brushes, but um, I use my fingers. Now, I do have another makeup foundation that, uh, let me put some down there. That's where you really need to put it to smooth those lines. As you know, they're called wrinkles. So you put some down there and blend it in. Then up here, and you know, most people, they use their sponges, they pile up. Uh, powder puffs, their brushes. They have a brush for everything. I do too, but I don't know which brush go where, except, uh, actually really don't. I just use brushes when I feel like using them. But right now, we blend all this in. You do your lips. Make sure you get up under your eyes, blend it in really good. This is another one of my favorites. I put some stuff on some glitter on it. But it's a uh, mega cushion foundation, wet and wild. I found this at five below, probably about eight years ago. Uh, the makeup has been gone, but I keep refilling it because I just like the little container. So we got that on. Then we'll put on the pressed powder. This is where I will use a brush or a sponge. So I like to use my brush. I have this brush and I have my Barbie brush, but this one here is the closest. So basically we just blend everything together see how I soften those lines up a little bit and you want to make it so it don't look like night and day or day and night you want to make it look like one smooth transition now if I'm wearing something white I don't do all this because I don't want my stuff to get messed up. Then finally, I have a setting spray, matte finish setting spray. It's from the Dollar Tree, but I don't know. I can't read the name of it. So make sure you close your eyes. <laughs> Y'all know where your face at. And then just pat it in to get that matte look. And finally, my lipstick that I just bought from Dollar Tree last week. I liked it because of the pink, but when I opened it up, Got a little flower in there. So, yeah. And it's clear. It's clear. And it goes on clear. So, when you don't want to be too over dramatic, because the minute I pick Miss Missy up, she slaps me in the mouth. And uh, the lipstick's all over her hand and no longer on my lips. So, from that, we're going to um, go in here and change out this bag uh, from my uh, Louis Vuitton white tote into my London flog. Why do I keep saying flog? London fog black backpack. And I was able to get that thing off that lady. She was talking so much to me yesterday. She forgot to take the thing off. I have one knife in here that will cut through Fort Knox. And it was able to get it off. So let's go in here and uh, switch out the bags. And so, because I got to go to the post office. I'm doing all this just to go to the post office. And it's, I don't know what time it is, but it's taken me at least three hours to get this far. Um, 62 and slow, but aging gracefully. Let's go change the bag. Okay, so let's go ahead on and finish. I moved into this room now. I need a drink of water. Nothing as refreshing in Texas as an ice cold drink of water at 11 o'clock in the morning. Because it's about 83 outside. Good child. My Bobby mug. It was made expressly for me. Got my name on it. So what we want to do now is move out of my Louis bag into this London ball backpack. I've already put some of my tags on. I don't know where the rest of my uh, pink tags are for Barbie. They're probably outside in the stroller. But uh, this one has an outside pocket. This is my. Yeah, they they know you're here. They know they know you here. They know you live here. 
This is my absolute first London fall bag. Should I let her finish the video? She said, yeah. Girl, please. <laughs> so, uh, so, we talk about everything over here. I had this outside pocket and it's embossed. It's uh, flushed with the leather, leather uh, London fall in like a goldish tone. On the inside, there's a big pocket on the back back here, a zipper pocket. And then you got two cell pockets right here. So let's see what all we can get in here. Um, I did take the liberty to put in a smaller wallet because uh, I was using this. So I took the liberty to get one of my coaches. And uh, we're going to use that wallet. So this is going to go down inside the zipper pocket on the inside to keep it doubly secured. In case somebody tried to reach their hands in my bag. I had a baby's planner. It has to go with me no matter what, where I go. I have a Barbie notebook to keep notes as I go. <laughs> this is a, a pair of glasses, uh, magnifying glasses. I forgot where I bought them. Mardell Bookstore. Mardell Christian Bookstore. It's a sister store to um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, so it helps to read when I'm in the store trying to read them labels. This is my emergency contact information, medical information, diagnosis and all that stuff. Doctor information that stays with me. I have some tissue. My eye care stuff. Eye drops that I have to have, especially with the pollen increasing. Um, lip glosses that I need to put this one in that I just put on needs to go in this little Barbie pouch. There's like five other Barbie lip glosses in there, various different colors. Because you never know what color you want to put on depending on your mood. This is my bougie pouch uh, when I need to go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper. I'll put that in a pocket so I won't have to be rummaging through this bag because it's going to get full. Um, hand sanitizer and a brush to go along with my foundation slide that down in there sanitizer out here probably should put the tissue out here too what you think i put this tissue out here in the front pocket a bag in case the baby poops and i need to seal it uh stain remover wipes put that in that front pocket uh my planner 2024-2025 yeah, I know some people say well put it on a um, your Google or on online I need to have it in black and white this is the baby's pouch with her um, teething stuff some lotion for her and saline drops that's hers Um, magnifying glass, another one, and some wipes, some more. Put them wipes out here, turn them sideways. Put this magnifying glass in here with that other one. Yeah. I'm still looking for these pain patches. My uh, nail care kit, Barbie Inspired by Revlon. They collaborated. Uh, the baby nose and ear cleaner from Dollar Tree. A little deodorant. My ink pens. Some of them. I have probably about 500 ink pens. Um, blotter for oiliness. Uh, moisture balm for my face. For those of us that are growing old. We're doing it with grace. So that goes in there. And the balm goes in there. Um, a charger that fits my phones and her tablet. Just in case we go somewhere and we stay a little bit too long, we can plug it up. Another ink pen, hairbrush, and comb for the baby. <laughs> Tied to go. 
uh, Teeth Cleaners um, Barbie Strawberry Scented Lotion. Starting to rise to the top, y'all. We're going to see if we can get it zipped. That's the, that's the goal, to get it zipped. Uh, let's see. I have some Wild Rose Cream. It smells really, really, really good. Let's see. Let's see what else is in here. Some change. And a key to something. Some little key or some lock. I think this purse had a lock on it. I have to look for it. Put that down on the outside. Nope, the inside pocket. And then I have towel for my um, glasses to clean my glasses. And the last thing I have is this menopause pouch. This may have to go into the um, overflow bag because I do carry two purses. Um, yeah, this is the menopause stuff. Let's see if it's going to fit. I mean, it'll fit, but let's see if it'll zip. For those of you that don't know, I'm a veteran, and everything got to be dressed right dressed. That means everything got to be lined up. Zippers need to be zipped. Buttons need to be buttoned at all times. It's just something they instilled in us back in 82 when I went through basic training, and I ain't never left it. Of course, I'm a military brat, so I got it long before I went in the military. And it's closed. And I think I got this on the wrong side. Let's see. It might be the right side. But anywho, that's my London fog. Let me try this other side, because that felt awkward. Um, this your first time here. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to uh, say hi to Cam. That that I would like for y'all to say hi to Cam. Her name is Celeste Anne Marie. I call her Cam Cam. Um, say hi to her. Uh, leave a comment below saying hi to the baby. Um, <laughs> give a thumbs up. Share the video. Do you know anybody that started over? Anybody in 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 your Entourage. Okay, that feels better. That's starting over with a, with a full nest again. Uh, my nest had been empty so long. <laughs> the straw was brittle. But that day I had learned how to cook again for more than me. You know, because I could I could eat a boiled egg and be done for the whole day. But I had to cook now like five times <laughs> just to see what she like. Because she can't talk and say, I don't like that. She just takes it. She picks food up out of her high chair and just go. And chunk it on the floor. I am mopping, sweeping and mopping the floor five times a day. Because of love. So, this is your first time here. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Leave Cam a message. Don't leave me no message. Leave Cam a message. And uh, share the video. Getting ready with me as we grow old gracefully at 62. The nest was empty. Now it's back full. And we switched from a Louis Vuitton into a London Fog bag. Trying to get myself geared for Disney World with that one. Um, hit that button and ring that bell so you will be notified the next time we load up it. <laughs> that girl keeps me laughing, y'all. She, she, she brings so much joy and laughter into this house. So hit that button, ring that bell so you'll be notified next time we upload a video. And don't forget to leave us a comment. We, we try to answer every single one unless it's some perp, you know. Making them wolf calls. I, I don't respond to that stuff. Yeah, you know, I don't respond to grandma I look good. I, boy, I know I look good. Tell me something different. So, uh, I ain't that desperate for your compliment. Compliment. I know I look good. Say something intelligent. Okay? But anywho, until next time, y'all be blessed.